enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it i am pastor bridget ogbefo inviting you to join me every friday at 6 a.m on the tobago inspirational network for gateway to life where we explore the word of god through the help of the spirit of god greetings in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ i am bridget obeyfone and this is gateway to life and it's such a pleasure to be among the living at this particular time to be able to share with you the heart peace of god at this particular point in time and i know that you will be blessed just as i will be as the word of god will be coming forth through these lips in the name of Jesus. And so before we go into what we have, I want us to just bow our heads as I pray this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this special day that you have made. I thank you for this beautiful day, the one that you have made and you have loaded with benefit. I thank you because you have set us, set us aside at this particular day to beautify us, even through your word that will be coming out. Through my lips, I declare, Lord, that you will make my lips like the pen of a ready writer. That as these words come, it will come with grace, it will come with life. It will come to impact, it will come to shape, it will come to enlighten, it will come to uplift, it will come to change situation, it will come to give hope to the hopeless. Lord, as your word come, it will come to correct, it will come to reprove, it will come to place us in the place that you want us to be, that I, the speaker, and even those that will be hearing that we will both, we will all be refreshed, even through your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have heard for our prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Again, it is Gateway to Life, and I am Bridget Ogbefon, and God is an awesome God. You know, the last time we um, I had the opportunity to interact even on this word of God, I started a topic that I titled help is here and today i'll be going further but in another dimension so there will be a subtopic on that that general topic help is here and today i'll be looking at calling god by his names in the times when you need help call god or calling god by his name by his names or name in the time when you need help you see i come from the part of the world where we put so much meaning to the name of a person we do not take names lightly name is of very high importance in where i come from that is why we don't just give our children any and any name we don't take it lightly it's something we do you know we hold in very high esteem you don't just give back to a child and call them any name that comes in your mouth is a name is something you prayerfully seek the face of god for it's a thing you do. It's a spiritual exercise, if I may say. So a name is not something you just throw at, some, at, a, at, at a child. And so where we come from, names are very important. What you call somebody is important. That's why we as human beings, we are very concerned about the way you address us. If I'm in a gathering and you call my name in a wrong way, sometimes I feel slighted. I may pardon it sometimes because of my name and the environment that i'm in and people may have a problem pronouncing especially my surname sometimes but i will make sure i correct you and tell you this is the pronunciation of my name why because we everybody wants their name you know handled with dignity because when you hear that name you respond to it everything on your inside responds if i'm in a gathering and i hear somebody ball out bridget automatically i will tend to look towards the direction the name is coming from doesn't matter if there are other bridgets in the gathering so what am i saying your name attracts your person your name you know gets your attention your name makes you want to act and move hallelujah the same thing with the god that we serve god is bound to respond when his name is called god acts when his name is called god stands to it when his name 
is called hallelujah and one question i want to ask you today what name are you calling god what do you know him as what are you addressing god as today in that situation that you have found yourself in that place that you are in who do you say god is who do you call God to be? What is it to you at this particular point in time? When you go through the phases of life, what do you call God to be? Hallelujah. Call God by his names in the time when you need help. And so I want, I, I went to search out for the meaning of the word name. And it says it's a word or a set of words by which a person is known addressed or referred to it's a word or set of words by which a person is known by which a person is addressed or by which a person is referred to that is why if you if you if you're in a gathering and then they begin to call make, make, make a roll call for example you listen attentively to hear your name called and immediate immediately your name is called you respond either by raising up of hands or by speaking you know acknowledging your presence or just giving a sign to let the person know that you are present god responds when you call him by his name when you call him by those words that you refer him as when you call him by those words that you know him as when you call him by those words that you address him as but the big question today what do you call god for you to be able to call god by his name you have to know god you have to know the names you have to have had an experience with him you have to have had an encounter with him have you ever related with people and sometimes you are so fascinated with the way the people carry themselves, the mannerisms, and the way they just comport themselves generally and you want to draw close and ask, excuse me, uh, please, um, what is your name, please? Because you want to get to know the person on a, you know, better level because of the experience you have had with them. And so this morning I'm asking or afternoon or night or whatever time you may be watching, what experience do you have with God? What are the experiences you have with God? What name have you chosen to call God? Even in your time of help, in your time of need, in the time when you need intervention. What names? Do you call God? Calling God by his name is a sign of showing your unwavering confidence in his ability to come to your aid. When you call God by his name, you are telling him that I am confident that you are able to do more than I could ever imagine. I want to go straight into the scriptures where God himself called himself by his name. Hallelujah. Where God had to address himself by who he is so that you will know what he is to you and what he could be to you. And that takes us straight to the book of Exodus. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 and from verse 13 and 14 let's look at what the bible says it says then moses said to god indeed when i come to the children of israel and say to them the god of your fathers has sent me to you and they say to me what is his name what shall i say to them and god said to moses i am who i am and he said thus you shall say to the children of israel i am has sent me to you hallelujah so that is one of the names that you could call god it says i am one thing that stands out to me i thank god that god did not say i was <laughs> he did not say i will be <laughs> he did not say i am going to be <laughs> he did not say i have been but he said i am that i am the very present help in time of need the one that is able to call those things as though they those things that be not as though they were and so god said to moses he says i know who i am i know my name i know what i can do i know my attributes i am not a confused god tell them that i am has sent you to them hallelujah so today what do you know god has what experience have you had one thing that stood out to me while preparing for this is that before people came out with a particular name for god it's born out of an experience they had with god no name of god came into existence without 
a particular you know event tied to it without an experience connected to it so for you to be able to truly call god by his name <laughs> in the time of help in the time of need you must have an experience with him and may i i will not hesitate to let you know one of the quickest way to experience god is through his word <laughs> one of the quickest ways to know who god is uh, to know the name that you could call god in the time of help is through the through the word of god what do you call God today? No wonder our Lord Jesus Christ, when he was dealing with, with his disciples, at a particular point in time, he put the question to them. He said, who do men say that I am? <laughs> Hallelujah. In other words, what is my name? What name do you call me? What am I to you? How do you address me? What do you refer me to as? What do you call me? The Lord Jesus said, who do men say that I am? And even when the, the, the disciples came up and started saying, oh, some say you are the prophet, some say you are this, some say you are that. He went forward and said, who do you say that I am? What do you call me? What experiences do you have with me? What am I to you? What do I stand to be in your life? How do you refer to me in your heart? What do I stand to be in your life? What do you take me to be? Who am I to you? And I make bold to post the same question to you today, wherever you may be, boy or girl, male or female, old or young. Who do you call God to be? What is the name of God to you? Hallelujah. When you know and call God's name, <laughs> it makes you go into a deeper realm of worship. You cannot worship God effectively without knowing who, is, who he truly is. Without calling him by his name. Like I said, I will always refer to where I come from. Where I come from. When you want to make a man feel good, you know, about himself. You will eulogize him. You will praise him. You will call him by his names. You will big him up, like we say here. You will call him by the very names that he's known by. Hallelujah. And so, when you want to go into a realm, a particular dimension of worship, you must know and call God by his names. You must call God by who he is to you. So in other words, you may not call God by the no names that he's known to be. Personally, there, may, there must be names that you call God that makes meaning to your innermost being. Personally, you must be able to call God by his name based on experiences you have had with him. I will not forget in a hurry. I went through an experience, must be over 15 years ago now. And I was so much deep in sorrow deep in pain <laughs> feeling that i had been used feeling that i had been cheated feeling that i had been deceived feeling that i had been lied to feeling that i had been treated unjustly feeling that i had been relegated unjustly to the background and then it resonated to me and then that name came to me, the just God. And I choose to address God by that name. So up till now in situations when I go through certain situations, you are a just God. You are a just God. What do you call God? Do you call him your friend? Do you call him your help? Do you call him your savior? Do you call him your partner? Do you call him your advocate? Do you call him your physician? <laughs> Do you call him the very present help in times of need? Do you call him your beautifier? Do you call him your strength? Do you call him your deliverer? Do you call him the meaning in your life? 
Do you call him your dependable friend? Do you call him the unmovable mover? Do you call him the God that is able to save? Do you call him the beauty in your life? Do you call him the voice of the voiceless? Do you call him your representative? <laughs> Do you call him the light in your world? Do you call him the path of your life? Do you call him your savior and your maker? Do you call him your friend? Hallelujah. What do you call God today? Call him by his name. In that time when you are in that situation in life that you need help, you know that it's only God who is able to save you. Call him by his name, not by what people say, not by who people say they, they, he is. Call him by what you know him to be. Call him by what you have experienced him to be. Call him by what you have seen him to be. Call him by what he has shown himself to be in your life. Call him by his names. In those times of trouble when you call God by his name guess what he is bound to answer like you call your fellow friend and they respond he is bound to answer and the beauty about it is that we serve a God who answers when you call he say call upon me in your time of trouble he say and I will answer you those are the words of God God is not like men when they are upset with you when they are angry with you they pretend not to hear when you call them when they pass you on the highway they drive straight they pass you straight and pretend not to see you God is not like that. When you call on him, he answers. The very first name that God was referred to as in the scripture is Elohim. And the Bible says, in the beginning, God, that is Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. You could call him by his name, Elohim. And then we go into deeper names that God is referred to. God is referred to as Yahweh. Yahweh is the principal name in the Old Testament that God was referred, that was God was revealed by. His name is Yahweh. Have you ever gotten to that level when you are able to, from the depth of your heart, call him, cry unto him? Call him by his name. He is the self-existent God. He is very present. He's so present that the past have no hold over you. He's so present that your future is, this, is, 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 is guaranteed. Your future is secured. You can even call him your future. You can call him your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God can become your name. You may be in a situation in life where your name, your earthly name, has no good to offer you. Some of us carry names that have been battered, that have been tarnished by our forefathers. Some of us, where our names are mentioned, People begin to recall the ugly things and the, and, and, and the mean things that our forefather did. And that is like attaching to us. God can become your name in that situation. It says that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. God can become your name in the places when you need help. Hallelujah. And so my question again that I will keep asking, who do you know God to be? What do you refer to him as? What do you call him? What name do you call him when nobody is there? What does it mean to you? So in the time of help, who do you cry out to? What do you call out? What do you refer to God as in your time of need? Our Lord Jesus Christ called him Eloi, Eloi. What do you call him? Do you call him Abba Father? <laughs> do you call him Jesus? Do you call him my helper? 
Do you call him? What do you call God? Call him by his names. Hallelujah. So we want to quickly run through a few names that you could call God by. You could call him the I am that I am that we have seen in Exodus, Exodus chapter 3 verse 13 to 14. He is called Jehovah Nisi. Meaning the Lord my banner. Hallelujah. As can be seen in Exodus chapter 17 and verse 15. We are going fast at this time. Exodus 17 and 15. We are talking about calling him Jehovah Nisi. Look at what the Bible says. Exodus 17 and verse 15. And Moses built an altar and called its name. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my banner. When you take time to read from the beginning of that chapter, you will have a clearer understanding. Don't forget, I told you from the beginning that all the names that are given to God were born out of an experience with God. An event happened and then God is called by that name. You will understand why God will call that place God, my, why Moses will call that particular place, God is my banner. Jehovah Nisi, he is my banner. In the times when I need people to recognize what it is I have on my inside, who I am, and whose I am, I will call him Jehovah Nisi, my banner. You could call him Jehovah Kodash. That is the Lord who sanctifies. He is the Lord who sanctifies. How do I know? Look at what the Bible says in Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 8. We are talking about Jehovah Kodash, the Lord who sanctifies. The Lord who sanctifies. Look at Leviticus chapter 20. Hallelujah. Leviticus 20 and verse 8 says, and you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. So Jehovah, my God, who sanctifies me, Jehovah Kodesh. So you are in that situation where you are confused. You don't even know what to do. And you know that you cannot boast of your own self-righteousness. The Bible records it that our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Good enough for the being. But you could depend on this God that sanctifies and call him by his name Jehovah Kodesh. You could call him Jehovah Sabaoth. Hallelujah. <laughs> Meaning the Lord of hosts. You could call on him as Jehovah Sabaoth. Are you facing battles that you know that you cannot handle by yourself? I tell you, if you can handle it by yourself, then you don't need God. But if you are like me, you know sometimes you are helpless. There are certain battles you have to indulge in. There are certain fights that you have to face. You know you are helpless on all sides. And then you call upon Jehovah Sabaoth. You call him by his name, the God of hosts. As recorded in Isaiah, let's see what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 4. We are talking about addressing God as Jehovah Sabaoth. Look at what the Bible says in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 13. Hallelujah. And verse 4. It says the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like that of many people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts musters the army for battle. So quit trying to fight the battle by yourself. Quit, quit trying to prove a point by yourself. Quit trying to fight spiritual wars physically. Quit trying to throw words at people when you should be calling on the Lord of hosts. 
No matter how thick and how heavy the armies of the enemies may be, no matter how strong they may be, no matter how sophisticated their weapons, their weapons may look like, no matter how experienced they may be, no matter how well calculated they may be, no matter how good they may be at shooting down their victims, you have a God, his name is Jehovah, Sabaoth, call upon him. He is the Lord of hosts. He has never lost a battle. He will never lose any. He will not start with you. He will not lose any battle because of your sake. Hallelujah. Call upon him. Jehovah Sabaoth. And so when you stand in those battle hours of the night. And you begin to wage that war. And you begin to win that acts of war. You are to call him by his name. Jehovah Sabaoth is his name hallelujah people of god i know that the names of god are so enormous you cannot exhaust it like i said you don't have to depend on the known names of god you have to call him by the names that you have known him to be born out of the experiences that you have had with him it could be your giver it could be your provider it could be your sanctifier it could be the lord of hosts it could be your friend it could be that friend that will stick closer than a brother it could be your mouthpiece when you do not have the opportunity to stand up for yourself it could be your ovation when people are talking down on you it could be your beauty fire when people don't have anything good to say about you. It could be that booster that you need in your spirit, man, at those times when you feel like throwing in the towel. If you forget anything I say to you today, remember that God is bound by his word, by his name. When you call God by his name, he has no choice than to respond. Pond. He has no choice than to come to your aid. And so I'll be wrapping it up today until we come back next week to look at more names of this God that we serve. But I want you to remain in this confidence that you have a God who has a name <laughs> that is able to save, that is able to deliver. He is waiting on you to call on him. He is waiting on you to address him by those names. He is waiting on you to refer to him by those names are you willing to do so today i want to leave you with these words today stay with that confidence god does not just have those names they are available to you to use and until i come back next week i want you to know that you are a champion and you are born to rule and reign in life hallelujah enter through the narrow gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. I am Pastor Bridget Ogbefo, inviting you to join me every Friday at 6 a.m. on the Tobago Inspirational Network for Gateway to Life, where we explore the Word of God through the help of the Spirit of God.